Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do uh, your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on. All right, Scorpio. How is Scorpio coming to the reading? How is Scorpio coming? Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Change. So things are looking up. You know, you could even be manifesting. You could be, you could find yourself in different circles, maybe different social circles here. Listening to your intuition, your intuition or your psychic abilities could be heightened at this time or someone around you, their abilities could be heightened right now um, with the wheel coming up. It looks like better times, yeah. You have the tower card and the star. All of a sudden there has been reconciliation. There has been a clearing of energy the star card and the tower um maybe with you and an aquarius or somebody here who th there was a lot of time that passed um someone could have buried the hatchet let something go let the burden go say what they wanted to say and move forward here um it looks good all together it just looks like a, a clearing of energy now you know you can come out renewed you know let's see um what else is going on for Scorpio? It's like you let something out or you let it you let it go. Yeah, the emperor, that's your energy also. Um, yeah, the four. So it's like you can have rest now and peace. All of these different emotions that you had pent up or you didn't know about or you just uh, maybe being at odds with or at odds with yourself. It's just like it can now subside. There's still some hidden information, knowledge, whatever going on behind the scenes. It's like the universe hasn't really unveiled everything to you. Some of you could be like doing some manifestation rituals with the moon. It's like you're going to do some next level stuff here with the world card. It's like you're coming into a place of maturity, full circle, everything coming back around. Let's see um, how uh, a person that you're coming to the reading for, how they feel about you. All right, the five of wands. So they feel like there's still a war within you or still a fighter. There's chaos or there's drama or there's competition. Uh, Will of Fortune coming out, though. Maybe they feel like this is subsiding. This is changing within you or something that has changed let's see nine of cups they feel like um maybe you found emotional uh clarity peace tranquility uh stability all by yourself you fit you've done this thing yeah page of pentacles some of you could be into the esoteric type of work earth magic uh, manifestation um you're doing you're really being consistent in whatever you're trying to manifest so this person sees you as that they also see you as a healthy person and a healthy catch could be younger okay yeah they can see you into maybe like esoteric uh darker side knowledge you know um we have ritual back here so yeah you definitely see you, um, your person sees you as kind of healthy choice, maybe to make amends with a family or a, your mom or, or something like this here. Let's see, what is the devil in the queen of pentacles? Somebody could be obsessed. Somebody could be using children to get to the wife or an ex-wife two of pentacles got a lot of earth energy so it's like um you're really trying to ground yourself or you are grounded uh you're trying to this is like um a test of will or loyalty like you, you want to be loyal to something but at the same time it, you know it's in direct opposition it's like you want to hang on to some hurt or some pain but it's also about letting go Yep, I knew it, letting it go with the judgment card. And that's your energy also, Scorpio. It's like you want to hang on to the hurt and the pain and all the stuff and the toxicity. But it's also like, you know, you you need to let it go. I don't know, somebody keeps it alive, keeps the drama alive. 
there's you. It's like you want to just have complete transition, like something end and then a new beginning, you know. So it's just uh, the advice here is just um, listen to your inner voice. Uh, the high priestess here, it's like you know what to do. Uh, the universe is speaking to you in that small whisper. Follow. Yeah, nine of pentacles, six of wands. Do your own thing. Um, also, you have like a business idea that you, it's making you restless, you know. It says go after it. You can also get help in business here. So this is really good. I hope that it resonated for you. Go over to the website, book a reading there if you feel moved to do so. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live tonight, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday. Um, thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you.